Welcome back to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe for amazing cybersecurity and ethical hacking related content. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. We're diving into Kali Linux, the go-to operating system for ethical hackers and security professionals. If you're new to Kali Linux or just curious about its capabilities, this tutorial is for you. We'll cover the basics, from installation to running your first hacking tool. Let's get started. Kali Linux is a Debian-based Linux distribution developed by Offensive Security, first released in 2013. It is designed specifically for digital forensics and penetration testing. Kali Linux is the most popular OS for hacking due to its extensive pre-installed toolset. It includes over 600 security tools, such as Nmap for network scanning, Wireshark for packets capturing, Metasploit for exploiting vulnerabilities, and Aircrack Ang for Wi-Fi security testing and much more tools stay with us and we will dive deeper in this. System requirements and download. For Kali Linux, you need one. Gigahertz single core processor, two gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes hard disk space. But I recommend you to use dual core or better processor. Four gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes of hard disk storage is recommended for a smooth experience. This ensures that the system can handle the demands of the software without lagging or crashing. Don't worry, the requirements are pretty straightforward. Now, let's talk about the download process. Kali Linux cannot run directly on Windows 10 or 11. We need a virtual machine. There are several benefits of using virtual machines such as you don't need the bootable USB or to install a second operating system in your computer. Moreover, virtual machines do not affect our original operating system in any way, such as malware, hacking, or other cyber attacks. We can safely perform ethical hacking on virtual machines without violating any real-life systems. I recommend installing a virtual machine. Stay with us and let's begin the installation process. Open your browser and navigate to virtualbox.org. Click on the first link that appears in the search results. Once on the VirtualBox website, locate and click the large download button to begin downloading the VirtualBox setup file. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the VirtualBox download and installation process. Now we need to install Kali Linux in our VirtualBox, which is simple and easy. Type kali.org in your browser and click on the download button. Select Virtual Machines 64-bit and then click on the virtual box it will start downloading. After that, extract the folder that we have installed. Open virtual box, click on the add button, then select the blue colored box icon from the extracted folder. This adds Kali Linux to our virtual box. We can customize it by allocating more RAM and processors. To access the internet on our virtual machine, click on settings, then network, and change the adapter to bridge adapter from NAT. Click OK, then use the Start button to launch Kali Linux. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Kali Linux. Now let's take a tour of the Kali Linux desktop environment. Upon logging in, you'll be greeted by the XFCE desktop environment, which is known for its speed and simplicity. Now open the Kali Linux terminal by clicking the icon next to Mozilla Firefox. Right-click then select the Preference option. Then select the color theme green on black to give it a hacker look. Now we need to change our Kali user password because it is too weak and vulnerable. We can change the password by typing the command password Kali. Enter the current password for our machine, which is Kali. Then enter the new strong password to secure our machine. Kali Linux comes pre-installed with a wide range of applications, including web browsers, text editors, and of course, a plethora of security tools. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the desktop environment and explore the various applications at your disposal. Let's start with some basic commands that will make your life easier. These commands are the building blocks of your Linux journey. The ls command lists the files and directories in your current location. Think of it as opening a folder in a graphical file manager. You can also use options like for a detailed list or ls all to include hidden files. The cd command allows you to change directories, just like double-clicking a folder to navigate into it. For example, 
will take you to the Documents directory. If you need to go back to the previous directory, simply type CD. The PWD command displays your current working directory, which is particularly useful if you've been navigating through multiple directories. It helps you keep track of where you are in the file system. The MKDA command creates a new directory, while the RM command removes an empty directory. To copy a file, use the CP space source underscore file space destination underscore file command. To move or rename a file, use the MV command, for example, MV space source underscore folder space destination underscore folder to move a file or folder, and to rename a folder or file, use MV space. Current underscore namespace new underscore name, the top command provides a real-time view of your system's processes, showing you which ones are using the most resources. The DF command displays disk space usage, helping you keep track of your storage. If you ever get stuck, the man command is your best friend. Typing man space, command name, will bring up its manual page, giving you detailed information on how to use it. Another useful command is grep, which allows you to search for specific text within files. For example, type grep space, search underscore text, space file underscore name. Remember, these are just a few basic commands to get you started. The more you use the terminal, the more comfortable you'll become with it the more powerful and confident you'll become in using the terminal. If you enjoyed the video, then make to sure to subscribe our channel for more amazing ethical hacking tutorials and content. Until then, stay safe and happy hacking.